Exercise 20. Posting errors are identified in the following table. In column 1, enter the amount of the difference between the two trial balance columns, the debits and the credits, due to the error. In column 2, identify the trial balance column, either the debit or the credit, with the larger amount if they're not equal. In column 3, identify the accounts that are affected by the error. And in column 4, indicate the amount by which the account in column 3 is either under or overstated. Item A is completed as an example. Item A had a $2,400 debit to rent expense is erroneously posted as a $1,590 debit. The difference between the $2,400 and $1,590 causes an $810 difference between the debit and credit columns. The column with the larger total is the credit because the erroneous journal entry was a debit to rent expense for $1,590 and a credit to cash for 2400 This caused rent expense to be incorrectly stated. It was understated by $810. In letter B, a $4,050 credit to cash is posted twice as two credits to cash. This would result in a $4,050 difference between the two columns. The column with the larger total would be the credit column as it holds two credits instead of one. The account that's incorrectly stated is cash, and cash is understated by $4,050. Letter C, $9,900 debit to the withdrawal account is debited to the owner's capital account. So the dollar amounts are correct, but the accounts are incorrect. Since the dollars are correct, the difference between the two columns is zero, making column two not applicable. The accounts that are incorrectly stated are both the withdrawal account and the owner's capital account. Both the capital account and the withdrawal account are understated by 9900 Letter D, a $2,250 debit to prepaid insurance is posted as a debit to insurance expense. Again, since the dollars are correct, the difference between the debit and credit columns is zero, which makes column two not applicable. Both prepaid insurance and insurance expense are incorrectly stated. Prepaid insurance is understated by $2,250 and insurance expense is overstated by $2,250. Letter E, a $42,000 debit to the machinery account is posted as a debit to accounts payable. The accounts are incorrect, but the dollars are not, giving us a $0 difference between the debits and the credits, making column 2 not applicable but both the machinery account and accounts payable are incorrectly stated. The machinery account is understated by $42,000 and accounts payable is also understated by $42,000. Letter F, a $4,950 credit to services revenue is posted as a $495 credit. In this case, the dollars are incorrect, which will leave us a difference between the debit and credit columns of $4,455. 4950 minus 495. The debit column is larger, as the services revenue account was only credited for $495. The service revenue account is understated by the difference between the correct amount, 4950, and the incorrect amount, 495. Letter G, a $1,440 debit to store supplies, is not posted. Since the error affects a dollar amount, there is a difference between the debit and credit columns. The column with the larger total is the credit column, as we miss the debit altogether. This leaves store supplies incorrectly stated. Store supplies is understated by 1,440.